Yo, what's going on, everybody? Today, we're going to be talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Zero, the movie. So let's get into it. All right, guys. So as you said before, today we're talking about Jujutsu Kaisen Zero. This movie right here was absolutely fantastic in the way that they set it up because most movies that you watch when it comes to anime usually are like a standalone or you don't know where exactly they place within the series but Jujutsu Kaisen Zero does a really good job of you know letting you know where it's placed and you know with all this taking place as a prequel to the Jujutsu Kaisen series which should be available still on HBO Max and Crunchyroll you can really get a feel for what's going on now, the only thing about this with some of the characters that are shown in here, you have to get a bit of a reintroduction if you have not watched the series. So you'll get a chance to get to know who the characters are. I definitely suggest you watch the series before you go in and watch the movie. But, you know, they're going to do a small reintroduction to a few of the characters that you may see. And there's going to be a few cameos in there as well. So not everything will need to be explained, but they will let you know what's going on. Now, as far as where this movie takes place, it is a prequel and it takes place with the main character of Yuta. Now, this character is the cursed child who has a lot of things going on and has locked himself away from society pretty much after the death of his friend Rika. Now, with all that being said, he's not sure how to handle it, and the story is going to take its place from there to figure out how he deals with everything going forward. Uh, it's mainly kind of focused on his mindset and how he's going to you know, proceed to, to deal with the consequences of you know, his friend who was killed is now haunting him as a cursed spirit. And everything that he does essentially revolves around having to deal with this cursed spirit hanging around. Now, throughout the entirety of this movie, you're going to see a bunch of different monsters, a bunch of different cursed spirits and stuff going on. None of them are as menacing, as crazy as Rika is. Rika is definitely one of the most violent creatures that's out there with everything that you see uh with how she's acting you can definitely tell that it's a you know child mentality with how how brutal she is like it doesn't matter what's going on you know she wants what she wants and it's definitely a sight to see even with the different uh monsters that we're going to be facing you know throughout this whole series you're going to see a lot of character shine that you may have not got to see before so even though this is a focus on you just so that they do a good job of letting some of the other characters shine for a moment to kind of let you see what else they're, they're capable of and i think this kind of goes along with you know bringing in from the original jujutsu kaisen series to letting you know where it stands currently with these characters if you're new to the to the series as a whole so it's a really good job on the characters uh, as far as the fighting and stuff goes, the fighting is absolutely fantastic. The choreography is great for how they set up uh, a lot of these fights. Uh, I can't think of a bad fight throughout the whole whole thing. Uh, I want to definitely say the soundtrack was on par with everything that was going on in the movie. So you put those two together and you, you know, get really hyped. You're, like, you're in the moment. So it was really, really good. And even throughout the entirety of the series, they never lost focus. It, it, it stayed focused on yuda in terms of what he was dealing with and his mind state throughout the whole thing and it kind of had like a i want to say like a horror feel to it like really you know scary type of paranormal existence thing which we already know you know watching different things with jujutsu kaisen you see a lot of the, the cursed monsters but this one feels particularly good as far as how rika was portrayed and how some of the other characters throughout the show react to Rika and Yuta being involved in this situation. Uh, overall, I got to give the movie uh, a solid nine for what was done. Uh, and those, again, there's a couple twists in there that you're going to see. They're just kind of like, whoa, <laughs> wasn't expecting that, especially for someone who, you know, I watched the show before I got into the manga. So definitely just watch from the show point. Like, it was fantastic. So, if you haven't checked it out, definitely I recommend you go check it out whenever you get a chance. If you want to check out more content like this, then just make sure to go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Hit that like on this video. Let us know how we're doing in the comments and whatever you saw. Please add to it. 
So we appreciate you guys. Thank you. And we'll catch you in the next one.